This is our Mark II GTI, which we pulled out of a garage it had been sat in for 20 years. Last episode, we tried to get it started and it went badly. This really doesn't look good. Oh no, oh no, no. So we made the decision, it needs a new engine. 18 t VR6, K20, but we kind of want to keep this original. So I've asked Edwin to find another eight valve. I bought an engine sight unseen and we don't know how many miles are on it. Why do you do this? So we're going to get the new engine, throw it in the car and then get it running. Right, let's get this engine then. Not it. Not it. Oh. Where is it? That's four and a half hours away. You're joking. That way. So this is why we're here today. Well, not why we're here today. It's basically why I'm here today. This saggy headliner, it's got to come out. Edwin, I can't find these trim removal tools. Is this it? No, that's a chisel. I can't find them anywhere. I've looked. Right there on. They're right here. Just in front of me. Off to a strong start, I got the old headliner ready to come out while Edwin cleaned the engine bay for his new motor. You need to take the board out, which will break, but it doesn't matter because I bought a new board because I knew you'd break it. What do you mean you knew I'd break it? Well, it's you. Of course you've got to break it. You actually <laughs> kidding me. Ethan! What? Oh. Right, there you go. One unbroken headliner. Okay. Okay, I ordered a black one, but this is blue. Oh, it's a bit velvety. Blue. 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 Let's get it in. New headliner completing the look of the GTI's interior, we moved on to the tricky sunroof surround, which Edwin found particularly stressful. That look good? I know this is going to go badly, and I don't want to do it, but we have to do it. What is that? That's a glove. Spaffing. Oh. Right, let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go. I'm, I'm panicking. Okay, okay, calm. Everyone calm. Everyone calm down. Everyone calm down. Meanwhile, I was having a great time on the four hour trip to collect the GTI's new heart. Why did this engine have to be on like the other side of the country? I hope those guys have had as much fun as I have. I would have thought the hardest bit of that headlining is probably the sunroof. Although Edwin's usually quite, you know, cool, calm and collected with that sort of shit. I'm so calm right now. I'm just panicking a little bit though. I'm just panicking and calm at the same time. You're gonna make me calm. <laughs> Oh, I need something. I need the other one. <laughs> Sunroof completed and Edwin calm again. We finished up just in time for Jack to arrive with the new engine. Here we go. This is your garage. Yes! Oh! A bay that isn't covered in oil. The car was actually white underneath. I don't know if you realised. I've done the bay. He seems to be doing something much, much more interesting. You haven't. <gasps> Headliner! Yeah, fair play, Ethan. Now, you may notice something. Is it a different colour? It's a little bit blue. <laughs> when you're in your car, though, how often do you like it? <laughs> well, more importantly, though, we have an engine. That is an engine. It's a hell of a lot cleaner than ours. How'd you get it in? Me and Bossman 2's did it. <laughs> to anyone from outside the UK, that means they each lifted one half of it. To be fair to him, it was a laugh lifting it in. Yeah. That was Matt from Mark II Spares. He's got everything. Yeah. I think in the UK, between him and so ABS Car Parts, with a lot of parts. Yeah, helped us with a lot of parts. If they don't have it, I don't think it exists, yeah. to be honest. Oh yeah, actually, there is one more surprise. So you see all these? It's not gonna cut it. Come look at this. I don't know what you guys spent your weekend doing, but I spent it painting parts. Nice little out. bit of wrinkled black. That's banging. Bit of wrinkled black, bit of flat satin black, the HT. You know our manky intake oh, manifold? Oh boy. Oh my word. Yeah. That's excellent. And. Remember our alternator that was literally black? Yeah. I may have even taken the alternator apart to clean behind the fins. No way. Nice little bit of clean accoutrement yeah. for the car. Excited about the prospect of the GTI coming back to life better than ever, we refreshed its new motor. Um, how did this come out again? Look, I'm going to inform you and educate because I have a good memory. Uh, that's new. Uh, excuse me, that troubles me. If you've bought two Mark II GTI engines that are both f I would be so impressed. Technically, it would only be one because like, it came with the car. No, I didn't no, buy the no, engine. no, no, no. That engine just happened to have a car wrapped around it. Damn it. Hey, third time's a charm, am I right? Right, let's see if this one is full of mush like the other one. Look how clean the top is. That's much better. Let's have a look under here. Oh, we can work with this. That's all right. That's an engine right there. Our one was full of sand. Yeah. I'm going to just put this back on so you can't look at anything that might be wrong. No spin. Oh, 
pull now. Ah, I hated every second of that. Sound like my ex. Harder. You got it. No, you can't. You can't. I know I've got it. I'm just trying Go to harder. minimize minimize this action. You want to do that again? Do it which action? <laughs> this action. <laughs> I need less of this. <laughs> one more big one. Oh, that was that good for you? You done? Onto the brakes for you. No. I can't do brakes. There's absolutely not a chance I can do that. Ethan then moved on to brakes. Whoa. I'll attempt one and then you can do the rest. All right, Okay, deal. yeah. Right, how do I do one? There's a bolt in the back there. Is there one down below as well? Yeah. Does that just come off or is there a screw to hold that on? You are such a thin up because yeah, you know exactly you know, literally how. literally knew. I'm sorry, I've got all the knowledge. Sue me. Yeah, that one's rounded. Other than that, it's going perfectly. Look at this. That is one clean gearbox. How good is that? You couldn't even see most of it before. Please. Oh, that noise. When you get a cable tire, oh, that... Yeah, but, oh. While I was counting the little wins, Jack and Edwin installed the new clutch. It's like Christmas, but I'm not going to get anything that I asked for. This is me uh, in the final circle of Warzone. Yeah, coming in clutch. Is that good? Wait, don't you dare. Don't you actually dare. Oh! Oh, is this all going over my hand? Sorry, at least you're not crying about it. Very good. Only a little bit on the floor. Front brakes finally fitted, we swapped over as many usable parts as we could from our original engine to give the GTI's engine bay a little taste of the good old days. Wow! Bah. <laughs> Uh, some of you might have noticed uh, Edwin's keen fashion accessory. You had a little fight with this engine. This yeah, morning, you? yeah, engine walked into me this morning. I decided to go under the engine crate. Shouldn't do that anyway. <laughs> no. And I was punished for it. I walked into that bolt head and uh, now I'm the boy who lived. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got the torque specs right here. It says gun. Yeah. Right, gearbox. Be my guest, man. Well, after you. I'll follow your lead. After you, you know. Oh, I don't actually, no, legit, I don't have the bolts. Do you know how close I was then? And you're not ready. Can I just, can I just? Look, my, there's method to my, look. Okay, point a bag out, I'll tell you what's in it. Bolts. <laughs> Gearbox on, it was finally time to install the new engine. Something we were all far more excited about than we had realized. The trolley, please. I knew this was going to happen. Yeah. That's the cars over here. Can I have three medium pumps, please? <laughs> That's lovely. Bit overdone there, but... I'll go blue with this go one. Go blue, yeah, yeah. Side order of chips. <laughs> lovely. We need quite a way more, don't we? Ham and cheese toasty. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jagada in easy. And she's on the mount here. Could I have you lower it a, a little bit? Sure. How hungry are you? Just lower the engine, man. <laughs> I think I've got a bolt threaded in. Pans down, your hands in your pants. I think... <gasps> this mounts in. I really hope that nothing's gone wrong, because I've started connecting coolant lines, so... Who's voting this is going to work? What, your what, percentage? what percentage? I'm 100. Old people what be days? like... <laughs> <laughs> you laughing at old people be like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm 70. No, I'm 70% sure, only because I'm erring on the side of caution. Ethan? 100% sure. Oh, sweet. See, right, let's, let's, get get let's get in. Let's get the we'll fuck we're, we're the positive we know. people. Okay, yeah. all right, sweet, sweet. Nancy, yeah. get that, the rest of that in. All right, let's do it. All right, come on. Right. 
Yes. I think it's time. Oh my Bring God. Bring her out. Bring her out, Ace. That is an engine in a car. When we turn the key in, it goes boom, boom. At least we can look at it and go, that's a great engine. And what a great water pump. Just everything now. Just, just do, everything just else. Just do everything just else. everything else, yeah. Cool, right. Hop to it, I guess. Yeah. While Jack and Edwin did the easy engine bits, I buckled down to the biggest job of the day, relining our sunroof cover. Fresh. Back at the front of the car, we were sorting the final bits and pieces. Oh, good shout. Oh, very good idea, Ben. Well done, Ben. That smells of petrol, which we haven't actually explained. I bought this engine, uh, sight unseen, no video of it running. But uh, when Jack drained the oil out of it, it was more petrol than it was oil. The thought is that he was trying to crank it and was just flooding it with petrol. Adam's consensus and Carl's consensus is that it hasn't run with petrol oil, it's just flooded the oil system. Also, I mean, stupid us putting an EV back in it, really. Mm. The whole thing is we want to keep this set like car original. It's an original, super early car. You know, it's a bit of a shame putting a 180T or something or a VR6 in it. And also, this is easier. It's like, it's very easy. <laughs> Click. Jack, can you hold my sack temporarily while I check the oil? Nice heavy sack you've got, Edward. She hasn't had fuel in 20 years. 20 years she's been dry. That'll do for her. She just needs a little sip, just a little, just a little, and then she'll go brrrm. Ethan, happy? Anything you want to do just before any pre-fight checks? That's clean. Lovely, right, very that good. It's actually very clean. It means it's, means it's going to start. Very good. <laughs> right, we ready? I'm going for a turn. Stop. Now we're at the point that we were a couple of weeks ago. No. So, spark first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we got spark. After Adam from Volks Technics had fixed Edwin's incorrect attempt at guessing the firing order, we lined up for another attempt. Nada. Are you hearing when you turn that key, are you hearing a fuel pump? I'm hearing nothing. <laughs> no, no fuel pump noise. So, if we have timing, because we've got spark, we have spark, and we don't have any we've, fuel, we we're either missing fuel, compression. Hey, let's get to compression later though, let's start with fuel first. But we have cracked off these to the K-Jet system from the tank and there's nothing, it's dry as a bone. Right, stick it on the other ramp, let's get diagnosing. All right, come on. Before we left last night, I had an idea. When we were turning the key, you can't hear a fuel pump, nothing. So what I did was I pulled the fuel pump relay and I took it home and I tested it with a, with a voltage tester and it worked, which means something isn't right here. If I turn the key on and I manually switch over myself, that is the fuel pump priming. The relay works mm -hmm. and the fuel pump primes. Mm -hmm. But when you turn the key, nothing happens. That's because something is cutting the signal to the fuel pump relay. Oh, is it the 80s alarm system that's installed that's probably cutting the fuel pump relay? <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> I literally own a car that I haven't driven in about three years because it has this problem. It has alarm issues and old alarm issues of the, of the best, best alarm <laughs> issues. <laughs> I'm going to see if Edwin just manually holds the relay. Let's see if there's fuel getting to the engine. No, it's getting no fuel. That implies that we have two problems. Yeah, we've got two. No signal to tell the fuel pump to turn on. Yeah. And then even when we manually tell the fuel pump to turn on, it's not pushing enough liquid up to the front. These golfs are a bit weird. They've got an in-tank pump and an external pump. So we need to troubleshoot those. Have you ever looked under here? Yeah, look at, look at how mint it is. <gasps> wow. More matches. Yeah, shock, surprise, surprise. Oh, no. Eh? no, who could have guessed that Ashtray would be harboring more at matches? Strike it lucky. More secrets found, we got to work pulling the in-tank pump. Chuck's one of those matches, Ethan. I just want to have a little look in it. It looks fine. There's like a fine jus sort of gathering in the bottom of it. There's a couple of little specks of brown. We've got a new in-tank pump. And then before we even try the other stuff, let's do the external and the filter. Let's load up that parts cannon 
and prepare to fire. And fire, fire at will. No. No, nothing. Up. Up. Everyone watch eyes, yeah. three, two, one. I think our issue is somewhere in this area. Oh. That would suggest that our issues now lie within here, within this little mystery box. Which is okay, yeah. because we have an ex a new external pump. I'm more of a one pump chump myself. Yeah, I could go, could go for a two if pushed, but. Yeah, just one pump, empty tank. Oh, it's in my armpit. Excited by the progress we were making, we pushed on and swapped out the pump underneath the car. They don't look like a happy chappy. Look in there. She's a little bit cleaner in there. I hope so. Yep. Okay, cool, perfect. 12 volts to the in tank pump. We've got 12 volts to the external pump. That means that pump's just dead. I think that pump's dead. You pump in. Then the real problems begin. And then the real problems begin. <laughs> Old pump replaced. We tested to see if we were now getting fuel through the system. One more test. We've got a leak here. Yeah, 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 yes, 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 that's good. It's all down my arm. Let's see if we've got some fuel coming out there. We got yep. fuel. We got fuel. Do you want to oh. do a, a janky start? No. Okay. Next. We're doing something not helpful at all. We're checking the air filter. Ooh, hello. I mean, it's not stopping it from running, yes. but that is rotten. We should put the new one in that's not going to help us at all, but it's going to make us feel better. The new air filter was clearly magic because on the very next startup. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she's not running on four, but she's running. It runs. Man, holy shit. It's alive. For the first time in 20 years. It is alive. Right. So there's something going on inside the engine bay that wasn't an explosion. Yes. <laughs> Alarm is, is a problem. It's also not running happily. No. That was on two or three. Yeah. All the timings were out. Yeah. Also possible, we still need to mess with the dizzy. Oh man, yes. so excited, man. <laughs> I love this thing. Now it needs to drive off of this ramp. Over the moon with the fact the car has spluttered into life, the guys got to work ripping out the alarm system, which we thought was immobilizing the car. <gasps> Is there a secret switch? There's a secret switch. No way. Yeah. Oh, cool. I kind of want to leave that. I want to leave the switch for this fun. Leave the switch in? Yeah. Your very own simple alarm. Mount in a dry position. That's why I wasn't working. It was covered in oil. <laughs> so we've taken that alarm out and turns out it's pretty simple and it's had no effect on our fuel pump situation. So what's the next, Edwin? I'm looking to you for the big ideas, man. Refurb the Pirelli P slots. Brilliant shout. <laughs> we can wire that switch straight to the fuel pump. What, as our um, kill as, switch? As our kill switch. Everyone's gonna, everyone, like, Oh, nobody nicked this place. Uh, you guys all... uh, cut that out. I will remove it. Yeah. Blow what we said. <laughs> With the alarm not being our issue, we retraced our steps to find out that the issue had been staring us in the face all day. When I said that I tested it last night and it worked, it did work. However, the positive and negatives for some reason don't work when they are set in the way that they should be as they are in the relay box. But when you swap them the other way around and give negatives to the positive and positives to the negative, it will click and it will work. So I think we need a new fuel pump reader. Oh, I think we need a new fuel pump reader. I tell you what though, it is it does pay to be thorough. Yeah. And we've been about three hours thorough. We've been a bit ingenious, a little bit sketchy thrown in a as well. Sketchy. But we essentially made like a jumper harness for the relay because the relay was just it's shit in its pants essentially, wasn't it? So now when we turn the ignition, we should hear the fuel pump and run. If, and if we do, we potentially just need to replace the fuel pump relay. Moment of truth. Yes, that is exactly what we needed. <laughs> should we start it? Do you start it? Ready? Fire in the hole. <laughs> that is a running Mark II Golf GTI. This doesn't sound great. No, it's a fine. It's got a mean exhaust leak. So yeah, I started it up and now it's actually idling 
a lot better than it was. That's because we've temporarily put a different relay in it, but it did sound like trash and we definitely got an exhaust leak and we think we found it in this middle section here. I mean, I'm no exhaust expert, but I think this is definitely going to be producing some sort of noise. Exhaust leak found and for the meantime, ignored, we got the GTI ready for its maiden voyage out of the workshop door. Right, am I doing this without spilling? Uh, you can try. You're goddamn right I can. One, two, three. Oh my word. Supposedly the capacity is five liters. When we put 10 in, we'll know that there's a problem. That's what the last guy said. Do you want to check there's no... Oh. <laughs> no! Leaking off the water pump. Don't you love the sound of flowing water? It doesn't make you want to go to sleep. It does calm me. Usually. Yeah, thermostat housing is wet. I'm wondering whether we just jerry-rig it and at least just roll it out of the Hop it out the door. Hop it out the door. Depends how brave we're feeling. Depends how reckless we want to be. What have you done, Jack? Bodged it. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's going to hold enough coolant that it's not going to cook itself. We're sort of hell bent now. I mean, it's getting late. I want to see it at least drive we'll itself drive off, off I want to and see drive it out the door. That sun. So let's hope that this holds. Let's put some coolant in it, start it up. Just everyone, everyone for a minute, just fingers, fingers crossed, crossed and nothing goes wrong, okay? Oh, for f <laughs> What? Oh, that's from the rad. Oh, it's from the rad. Man, Jack. the rad's toast. Jack, I'm gonna say something. What? Well, let's start it and drive it out of here. Okay, quick. Let's do it quickly. We're just getting one. Right, we've got to be quickly because we're gonna lose all of our coolant. This is a really terrible idea. We've yet to put this car in gear. We don't even know if it'll go into gear. That's, That's reverse. reverse. Here we go. Off the ramp. Yes. yes! All of our warning lights are gone. All of them are gone. Every single... It moves! Yes! <laughs> go, go, go! Yes! Brakes. No brakes. No. Go, go, go. Keep going, keep going. Into the sun. We're going to do it. Yes! 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 We're she inside! <laughs> yes! For the first time in 20 years. Yes! She's outside. She's, She's sort of idling. <laughs> yes. Oh man, we've got so many issues that we need to button up, but we've done it. It's, it's almost alive. I'm going to turn this off. Yes, yes. man. <laughs> it ran like shit, but it went. So there we go, from fading away to nothingness in a garage somewhere for the last 20 years, pulling out, trying to start it, replacing the blown engine. And here we are running, sort of. It's got issues and they're all, most of the issues are wet. So next time, we gotta throw an MOT on this thing and take it on a trip. Where are we gonna go? Take it home? Deal. Like and subscribe. Clean. Clean. <laughs>